Well, Lucy's live with us this morning, making something perfect for the 4th this weekend. Yes, I love to make this trifle for the 4th of July, and it's so easy. It's such a fun dessert, and of course, red, white, and blue. So um, we're just going to take a couple um, shortcuts today mm -hmm. and use a pound cake, or this is great with angel food cake, too, that I just bought um, at the store, and we're going to mix up our pudding first. So good. What kind of uh, flavor pudding do you use for this one? Um, vanilla. Mm. I know, and I must grab French vanilla, um, but I just got the the vanilla instant. It's just the small box, yeah. and we are going to add two cups of milk to that, and I'm just going to use the hand mixer to beat this up for about two minutes, and then we're going to add um, the zest and juice of one orange. So that really um, adds a lot of um, just a great flavor and brings out um, all the, you know, just the freshness of this fruit. Right. She made this, it was either last year or the year before, yeah. I can't remember, for 4th of July, and it is so good. I think for the 4th, it's always so hot, so we're looking for something cool to mm -hmm. eat and to cool you down. This is truly the perfect recipe. It feeds a ton of people, too. <laughs> does it and you can use you know you can double it very easily um, use whatever pretty dish you have so it's um, and then add whatever you want I mean you know, blackberries raspberries mm -hmm. whatever whatever fruits you would like um, and like I said I like to use pound cake but you could use angel food cake so um, just something pretty for the fourth yeah super fun and for the fourth a lot of folks are grilling of course and you guys always have some kind of specials going on but especially for the weekend ahead yes and actually um, today is Wednesday, so our 4th of July ad came out today, so um, you can find uh, the ad on social or, of mm -hmm. course, our website. And yes, the, the meat department has a ton of stuff on sale, um, butts and ribs and um, all the good things that people like to grill. And um, we have watermelons and, um, you know, blue bell is here today. Mm -hmm. It's funny, I saw them in the lobby. And I would like to have the reaction that I'm sure they get every time they go somewhere. It's like, <laughs> Bluebell! <laughs> it's like, oh my god! <laughs> I think you get that, Lucy. <laughs> Can you sometimes. imagine see Lucy Greer in a Greer? So that's like, that's a bucket list item right there. So I think you get the same oh reaction, gosh. too. So we're going to finish this up, this uh, pudding, at least add the orange zest. So when we come back with Joe, what are we doing next? We are going to fold in eight ounces of whipped topping. So, yep, I've just, this is starting to thicken up. So I'm going to do mm -hmm. the zest and the juice, and then we'll um, start layering it together a little bit later. Yum, this trifle with Lucy Greer coming up on the show. Speaking of cool, we got some cool whip. <laughs> How about that transition? Good one. Thank Good you. one. I'm really on it today. You are. You are. <laughs> yes, and we are about to add that cool whip in here. So we are getting to work on our strawberry and blueberry trifle. And in this bowl, I just started out with two cups of milk mm -hmm. and one box of vanilla instant pudding. And then I added the zest and juice of one orange. And now it's time for our cool whip nice. that I just let come um, to room temp just so it's soft. So I'm just going to fold that in with the spatula and then our um, our filling for this will be ready. Can I take a minute to compliment your stores? Sure. <laughs> so I was trying to prepare a fancy dish. It had uh, lamb loin chops and I was looking for Broccolini or broccoletti, something like that. And not many uh -huh. stores carry that, but your St. Louis downtown market did, in fact, have those items in stock. Yay. So I was able to find some stuff I couldn't find in some other stores. Well, good. How did your meal turn out? Uh, so two things about that. Uh -oh. One, the one I practiced with was fantastic. <laughs> the one that I did on the air, which you'll see on Friday, was still good after I fixed it after the segment was oh, over. Shoot. So here, here's the thing. I didn't, it was a red wine reduction sauce. Uh-huh. And due to the time I allotted for it to reduce and stuff, it was still like not as thick as I wanted yeah, it to be. Yeah. So afterwards, I kind of fixed it up. So you'll yes. see that on Friday. I Ooh. promise you when you watch, it was fantastic. Just kind of had to do some... Uh, editing to it. Live TV is hard. <laughs> For sure. And so we all, you guys do such a great job cooking on the show because it is a little different kind of spreading yeah. out your dish over, you know, a one hour broadcast. Well, I'm so glad that you found what you needed. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So you are working on putting this together. And if you missed it at the beginning, this is a perfect dish for 4th of July. Tell us about this dish, Lucy. Okay. So we are um, gonna, we're about to layer up this trifle and I was telling Chelsea, 
see that I'm using pound cake today. So I just bought a, um, a frozen pound cake out of the frozen food section, like where all the pie crust and mm -hmm. um, your Cool Whip are located. <laughs> and or you could use an angel food cake, or of course make your own. So I cubed that up, and then I already got it got a little bit spread out in our bowl. And then I'm going to use strawberries and blueberries today. But you could use blackberries or raspberries, um, you know, whatever fruit that you wanted. I was just going for the red, white, and blue for the fourth. And now that our um, our filling is all mixed up here, we are just going to layer it up, and it's mm -hmm. going to look so pretty and something that you can make ahead for the fourth. So if you have plans, um, you can go ahead and get this made the night before, pop it in the fridge, and it'll be ready to go. And with your cubing of the pound cake, did you cut exactly 50 pieces for the 50 states? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think it's more than that. Oh, okay. Maybe it's 100. That's that's fine. <laughs> Double the fun for the that's USA. Right. That's right. Right? All right, we're going to have this recipe online. You can check it out. Perfect dish for the fourth, guys. Definitely are going to want to make this one. Welcome back to Studio 10. We are live in the kitchen with Lucy. She is making her red, white, and blueberry trifle. She's made it on the show before for the fourth, and this is just one of those recipes you need to keep in your back pocket. <laughs> That's right. And you can make it all year and just switch out, you know, whatever cake or, mm -hmm. um, you know, fruit you would like. Today we're using pound cake. So I have uh, I just took the help of the frozen food section. I just got a, it's about a 10 ounce um, pound cake that I just let defrost and cubed up, or you could use angel food cake, whatever you'd like. And I just did a layer of our pudding mixture that we made. So we did milk and instant vanilla pudding, and then we put in the juice and zest of an orange mm. and just folded in some whipped topping. And then, of course, for the 4th of July, we're just going to use strawberries. This is just one pint of strawberries and one pint of blueberries. Yeah. So we have that red, white, and blue. And then you'll just layer it up. And then depending on what container you use will just depend on how many layers you have. Yeah. So and it's you got do it. berries in it. So it's really healthy. Yes. And yes. you do not have to feel guilty about eating this. But <laughs> I do like these kind of cakes, too, because they're light and refreshing. And so this is something you can make. It's so pretty and mm -hmm. nice to sit out on the table as well. We were yes. just talking a new ad drop today. Um, your meat department in all of your locations is very prepared for the influx of people that will probably be coming in soon. Yes, a lot of people, if you do want to shop early for the 4th of July, um, we have everything set. And if you don't like to cook, of course, any of our stores that have a deli will have fried chicken, of course, and ribs mm -hmm. and um, all the potato salads and coleslaw and everything that you need to make it a great holiday weekend. Um, but you're right, we are prepared and um, ready to see a lot of um, people excited to, to get outside and hopefully we'll have some good weather. Yes, hopefully so. So Lucy is going to continue this up yes. on the show next week. She's making something savory next Wednesday. Yes, um, a cheeseburger slider recipe. So another good dish for the um, for the summer and it is super, super easy as I always like to share um, easy things with everybody. That's right. All right, well, Lucy is live with us today. She's going to be back next mm -hmm. week for that cheeseburger slider recipe. We'll show you this finished product towards <laughs> the end of the show. Lucy, thank you so much thank for coming. You. Can't wait to try this out. 